So in this video, I want to tell you guys how you can actually get your credit card limits higher and how, it, it, even if it's important. So stick around, you guys. I'm going to tell you guys the steps that you have to take. Hey, beautiful people. It's Rakita, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to tell you guys how you can actually get your credit card limits higher and how, it, it, even if it's important. So stick around you guys. I'm going to tell you guys the steps that you have to take. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I talk about, you know, I'm a licensed realtor. So I can teach you guys how to buy a home, the steps you're going to take to buy a home. I can also go over the steps you got to take to raise your credit score so that you can be able to buy a home. How to get those accounts removed from your credit reports. And how to just really boost your credit score at a high. So over the 750 mark. Now the thing is, you guys, if you have a if you have a credit card, I always tell people every month ask for a credit increase. But before you ask for a credit increase, you want to ask that bank, call them and ask them, hey, for me to get a credit increase, do you guys have to pull my credit reports? Now that's gonna be a key thing because every month, like I know when they said they said that they gotta pull your credit score every they gotta pull your credit reports every time you wanna try to get an increase or something like that. Now Every, you don't want to get an inquiry every month, especially if you have multiple credit cards. So you want to ask them, like, what's their rules on that? Now, I know, like, if you have, like, the community bank credit cards, say, like, if you, if you guys did the shopping cart trick with for the Victoria's Secrets for the Overstock, or say if you got the Venus, the Camp the World, you should be able to log on to your accounts. You should have an online account with them, and you should be able to ask for an increase there. You shouldn't get, you shouldn't get a hard inquiry when you do it. But I definitely want you to call that company and ask for an increase. Now, listen, let me tell you how I learned this. A lady was talking about, I forgot, it was, I was listening to Bigger Pockets, so... Definitely, you guys listen to the bigger pockets. It's going to get you into their real estate bug. You know, people, somebody was like bought 50 units. I mean, 50 doors technically on the house. They bought that in five years. So I was just like so motivated listening to this. But this lady, she was talking about how she was using her credit cards and, you know, how she started building her credit and, you know, she was using that to buy properties. But she told me, well, she kind of said it. I think it was kind of towards me because I used it a lot. <laughs> but she was like, ask for an increase. It was on the podcast. She said, ask for an increase every month. They're going to say yes or no. You know, and a lot of times you don't know you're going to get that increase. And I remember I did this all the time. I used to ask every month for an increase. Or if they said they were going to my hard inquiry, I did not ask. But that increase is going to really boost your credit score up because now it's going to be easier for your utilization. Your utilization can always stay low. Don't forget that's how much you're using. So say if you have $1,000 of credit available, then I really don't want you to spend more than 5%, which is $50. But if you have $10,000 available, then you know you're going up to $500. You got more that you could technically spend. So you want to have those higher limits. So if you was to use a lot on your credit card, it won't damage your credit score. I always tell people about utilization, which is the big reason why you should always ask for an increase, is because with the utilization, you guys, I don't want you to spend more than 5%. So 5% or less is ideal for me. A lot of people like what well, Credit Karma says, 30%. Don't listen to Credit Karma on this because that 30%, if you see the colors, you'll see that they have a green. I want to see if I can get a picture of. They have a green in the part where it's the 0 to 9%, I believe. What a the part that's green, that's where you want to stay in. I believe that's less than 9%. Now, Credit Karma was telling you with the 30% that it's best to never go over that because after when you go over the 30%, you're damaging you, yourself. You're not. It's not helping you at all. So that's why I tell you after that point, it's damaging you. But if you ask me, when you between the 0 to 9%, you know, preferably 5% or below, that's when you really get all your points you can get, you maximizing your credit scores. But if you go ahead and spend more money, so say if you were to go from the 10% to the 20%, or even the 10% to, yeah, let's say 10, 10 to 20%, it's like, oh, we're going to get a little bit of points. We're going to get a little bit of points, you know. We're not going to really boost your credit score up, but we're going to get, you know, we, we're going to boost it, but it's going to be a little bit, you know, it's not going to be too, too many points. And if you go from that 20% to the 29%, we just, oh, we're going to just leave you alone. We're going to keep you right here. We're not going to give you no points. We're not going to take none away, but we're going to keep you right here. But when you go over that 30%, it's like downhill, you guys. 
So hope you guys understand what I mean by really keeping that utilization low. And if you ask for an increase on your credit cards, and say if you were to max out some of your credit cards, now that you have a now that you have an increase on certain credit cards, they're gonna look all together. What's your balances all together? Because they're gonna add all those up, and then how much you're using all together, and then they will figure out what's your utilization from there. So a lot of times I just tell people get more credit cards or ask for a credit increase, and you're gonna see your utilization get fixed. But keep this in mind, you guys, utilization is very, very important. How much you use it on your credit cards is very important. You can see your credit score really drop a lot if you use too much on your credit cards. So make sure you just ask for an increase every month. And a lot of times you can just do it on the app. Ask for an increase. Call them, see if you're going to get a hard inquiry. And sometimes you can just call in too if you don't do it on their app they usually have or their website. You can just call them, ask for an increase. But make sure you ask them if you're going to get a hard inquiry because you do not want to get a hard inquiry. Because hard inquiries can drop your credit score, you know, 3 to 10 points, sometimes 15 points, depending on what your credit score is. So hopefully it's got, this helped you guys understand that, yes, you should always ask for an increase. They can only say yes or no, so just go for it, you guys. Make sure you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys are texting me if you have any questions, 833-RIKITA. Make sure you guys also text SCORE to 21000 to be a part of my texting club. And don't forget, you guys, my daughter has the makeup line. It's coming out, you guys. This is her cherry flavor she has so many other ones coming out but this is the one she has now i don't have a label on it but i'm going to show you guys her full line when it comes out and i'm going to give you guys a nice discount so you guys if you guys have kids there she's actually making more kits so other kids can learn how to become business owner and sell their own products it's a lot of girls out there right now i know and selling lip gloss and making a lot of money and i see a lot of young girls that's really young making five thousand dollars a month just selling lip gloss you guys so she want to help those girls start their own line as she's starting her line and hopefully you guys this is something that you guys can get your daughters into your nieces into your granddaughters into or whatever the case may be but i'll let you guys know when it's actually officially out so you guys can actually purchase it right after this video i'm going to show you guys how to do the shopping cart trick where you can actually get credit cards without them pulling your credit reports and checking your credit scores so stick around right after this it's going to pop up do is if you want to try my trick I want you to opt in to factor trust so to opt in to factor trust you have to go ahead and click here so this is the website I'll have it down in the description I want you to opt in to factor trust so when you opt in to factor trust all you're doing is telling them hey I want to get credit card offers and you have to apply you, you have to actually give them your name your address your social security number your date of birth they're kind of, they're a credit bureau so they're similar to you know TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, those are the three major ones. But go ahead and click Submit. After you click Submit, then you want to go ahead and enter that information that I told you that you'll have to submit. Go ahead and submit that information and click Confirm. Now, when you submit this, remember, you're telling them, I want offers, so be prepared to get a lot of offers in the mail. But that's good because, remember, you're trying to build your credit score up, and for you to build your credit score, you need at least four credit cards. Now, let me show you what you can do after you actually opt in. After you opt in, then you have a chance of getting approved for credit cards without them actually checking your credit score. So let's go ahead and go to victoriasecrets.com because that's an easy website where you can just test and see if you can do the opt-in. You don't have to get the credit cards, but you can see if you get the pop-up saying you're pre-approved without them checking your credit scores and without them actually giving you that hard inquiry. So let's go to victoriasecrets.com. So after we go to victoriasecrets.com, I want you to put 200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. I already have items in my cart because I did not clear my cookies. So if you try this trick and it's not working for you, I want you to clear your cookies. I want you to clear your cookies and I want you to go into incognito mode. And if you want me to go through that, let me just run through it really quickly. You don't have to ask, I'll just do it. Let's go ahead and click the three dots here at the top. So it's three dots at the top and go to settings. After you go to settings, I want you to put pop into the box. And I'm going to kind of go fast because I don't want to, if you already know this, I don't want to, you know, pull you through it. But I want you to go ahead and click here where you see it's highlighted with the pop. Go ahead and click there, scroll to the bottom, and you want to make sure that you click pop here, and then you allow pop-ups. You make sure that it says allowed. So make sure it says allowed on your computer. Go ahead and click enter again on pop. Let's go ahead and just put pop in again. 
I want you to go to clear browsing data. That's your cookies. That's when they track you, they know where you've been. So, so far they say I've been to 169 sites. I downloaded 10 items. Like they know too much, right? <laughs> so I want you to clear your data. So after you clear your data, they're not gonna have this information anymore. So I want you to go to the Victoria's Secrets website, but I want you to do it in, in an incognito mode. I'm able to do it without incognito, but I want you to see what it looks like to do it in incognito. And this is actually called the shopping cart trick, what we're going to be doing. So I want you to put Victoria's Secrets here, click submit, click enter, and I want you to put that 200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. So I like to just go ahead and hover over sleep and go to cami sets. But again, it can be any 200 to $250 that you want to go ahead and pick the items. You can pick them yourself. You don't have to go ahead and follow these items, but I suggest you follow them, but you don't have to. And you can always rewind, slow it down, or whatever it takes so that you can go ahead and get this trick to work for you. So I like to click the small. And I like to get four of them. And so I get the four, the same item. I don't like to go ahead and get different items. I think it's just too much work and it's not necessary. So I want to add this to my bag. Now I want to click checkout. Now, as you can see here, the items is actually only $198, but with taxes, it's going to put me over that $200 mark. So I'm not concerned about it. So I'm going to click checkout. After you click checkout, you want to check out as a guest. So go ahead and click checkout as a guest. Now, I want you to go ahead and type your information in, that same information that you put into Factor Trust. I want you to put your first and last name here, your address here. I want you to put your phone number and your email address in. And the only reason why you want to put that same exact information, that's because when the Factor Trust sent your information over to these credit card companies, the only thing that they gave them was your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address so that they can mail you stuff, they can email you things, they can, you can get all these different offers, right? So put that same information in here, but I want to type this information in of the client that I have. So remember, you want to make sure that this is that same information. If you do not put the information in correct, then they're not going to go ahead and give you that pop-up that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just typing in all the information that you will have to put in so that you can get that pop-up. And keep this in mind too, there's over 60 different credit cards that allow you to get the to get credit cards without them checking your credit score. So go ahead, if you get approved for this one, if you get the pop-up, I want you to get the shopping cart trick guide in the description where you can see those 60 different credit cards. So I have all of the information put in, so I just want to verify that everything is correct so we can get the pop-up. So, so far, everything is correct. I want to click continue to delivery. So after you click continue to delivery, this is the pop-up that you're going to get. It's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. And this is the pop-up for all of the companies. You should get the same exact pop-up saying that you're pre-approved. Now, they're asking you to pick which credit card you want to get. So I always like to get the pink. If you watch this plenty of times because you're trying to master this trick, then you know I love the pink card. So I'm going to click accept now. And what they're gonna ask you for is they want you to put your date of birth here, your last four digits of your social twice, and they want you to go ahead and check this box here and click finish submit for review. So that is what they want you to put put here. And remember, after you go ahead and put this information in, they're gonna let you know, congratulations, you're pre-approved for $500. You're pre-approved for $1,000. Now, I don't suggest that you actually you know, buy the things on this. I don't suggest that you go ahead and get it. What I would do is I would just exit out. So I would click that X right there. And after you go ahead, after they tell you how much you're approved for it, they're gonna send you that card in the mail. So you can go ahead and look at my guide down in the description, it's called the shopping cart trick guide, and you'll be able to get those same credit cards that that's on that guide. And remember, they're not gonna be checking your credit score and they're not gonna be pulling your credit reports, giving you that hard inquiry. But if you have problems with hard inquiries, then go ahead and look down in the description. I have the hard inquiry removal guide also, where you can go ahead and remove inquiries from your credit reports. But yes, guys, I taught you guys the trick. So now I want you just to implement it. And remember, you wanna opt into Factor Trust. After you opt into Factor Trust, it's gonna be so many different offers coming in the mail. And now they're gonna tell these different companies that you wanna get the credit card, which is gonna make it easier for you to be able to get them. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call or text me. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. And remember, I'm always here from, for you. So you can always call or text me. You're my assistants. We definitely here for you. And if you want me to try to see if I can do this trick for you, I also have a section in the description that says, 
click here if you want me to try to do the trick for you. And usually that trick can be done within 24 hours so I can see if I can get you pre-approved. If you have any questions, like I said, call or text me. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment with your cash app so you can be entered into my monthly drawing.